Welcome back, everybody, to another segment of Small School Athletic Director on the Education Lady Podcast. We're going to be right back with this week's small school guest. But first of all, we want to give a shout out to our sponsors. Now, don't hit that fast forward button. These are all companies that I used as an athletic director. They're all great companies, uh, and I think you should be using them, too. So take the next three minutes, listen to our shout outs, then listen to our interview, and then go and visit these sponsors. I'm telling you. You're going to be glad you did. Here we go. Welcome back, uh, everybody. And we want to give our sponsors a shout out. First, we want to say thanks to Huddle. Uh, as a football coach, I used Huddle for years. But when I became an athletic director, I made sure that our school was a Huddle school. And our coaches just loved the tools that Huddle provided. Our kids loved the videos and our parents loved the streaming. But there's a lot more. Go to Huddle.com, join the 8 million users, turn your school into a Huddle school. We also want to say thanks to Gipper. You know, your students are on social media, and if they're not seeing content that you've created to celebrate their accomplishments and promote your program, you're missing out on a great opportunity. Go to Gipper.com. They're going to have you creating world-class content in seconds, and it's so easy, even I can do it. That's Gipper. Dot com. Check them out today. We'd like to thank Sideline Interactive, indoor score tables and video boards. Go to sidelineinteractive.com. You can schedule a live web demo to see their score tables and their score boards in action. Probably one of the best purchases I ever made was our Sideline Interactive indoor score table. Go to sidelineinteractive.com. Check out all their great products today. That's sidelineinteractive.com. We'd like to thank Hometown Ticketing for their support. Hometown Ticketing is the leading digital ticketing provider to schools and colleges. I don't think I need to say anything more. Go to hometownticketing.com for more information. It's digital ticketing that offers more. We'd like to say thanks to Snap Raise. Have you ever spent weeks and weeks with a fundraiser and then been disappointed in the results? Those days are gone. Go to snapraise.com. It's hands down the best online fundraiser out there. We used it at our school with great success. Our coaches loved it. Our parents loved it. It works. Go to snapraise.com. You can check out their other great platforms. But if you're looking for a fundraiser, you just found it. Go to snapraise.com. We want to say thanks to Vital Signs Wall of Fame. If you're looking for a really cool way to display your school record boards for all the teams, for all the events, or show off your school's Hall of Fame, go to vitalsignswalloffame.com. Take a look at their interactive touchscreen. That's right, touchscreen video consoles. It's also a great way to share your school's unique history along with your proudest moments. The website is vitalsignswalloffame.com. Check them out today. We'd like to thank Home Campus for their support. Home Campus is a platform that you're going to use every single day. Things like scheduling, scores, rosters, communication. How about athletic eligibility and clearance? Who doesn't do that every day? Home Campus does all of these things and more, and it does them better and it does them faster. To get started, all you need to do is go to homecampus.com. That's it, homecampus.com. We'd like to thank Ohio University and their online master's program in athletic administration. Now, I didn't get my master's from Ohio University, but my assistant athletic director did, along with thousands of others. And it was a great experience. It was totally online, very affordable. And they also allowed him to complete 11 NIAAA leadership training courses while he's doing his master's at no extra cost. For more information, Go to ohio.edu slash info slash MAA, the Ohio University Online Masters. And we want to thank Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack. Athletic directors already receive feedback, but a lot of times it's from a very small group that just wants to complain. Athletic Surveys will connect you to that group, but they're also going to connect you to the 98% that supports your program. And that sort of information is incredibly valuable especially when you're meeting with a frustrated parent or student athlete, or maybe your principal or even your school board. Go to athleticsurveys.com. They're going to create a custom survey 
that lets you take the pulse of everybody in your program. That's athleticsurveys.com. Check them out today. Welcome back, everybody, to another segment of Small School Athletic Director on the Educational AD Podcast. This is our weekly series where we visit with small school ADs from across the country, sometimes even uh, around the world, and they get to share some best practices that have been effective for them in their setting. And our definition for a small school is, uh, say, 100 to maybe 300 students in those upper four grades of uh, high school. Our guest today is uh, a friend of the show. Uh, we're visiting today with Tammy Clausen. She's the longtime coach and the athletic director at Leyland and Gray Union High School up in Vermont. Uh, Tammy was on the podcast a while back, uh, just did a great job. I had a chance to actually meet her when I spoke at the Vermont AD uh, State Conference, uh, I guess now almost two years ago. Wow, it seems like yesterday. Uh, and uh, I think it's safe to say she's become a good friend. So, Tammy, welcome back to the podcast. Thanks, Jake, for having me. Happy to uh, be here. Oh, absolutely. Uh, for listeners, we're recording this on August 16th, so it's going to be real timely as you listen to it. Uh, some schools are already back in uh, the classroom. Uh, I think most are in some phase of, uh, let's say, fall uh, preseason conditioning and, and things like that. Some have actually started playing games. Um, Tammy, before we get going, where are you at on your calendar right now? And then we'll we'll kind of get into the podcast. Yeah, so uh, yesterday was the first day of our high school fall sports. So uh, first day of practices kicked off and it's still beautiful weather here in Vermont, not too hot. And uh, we don't start classes till August 28th. So they have a couple weeks of preseason with just the focus of athletics, which is kind of great. Oh, that that is nice where they can come in and, and, you know, the teams can work, coaches can get together. And you mentioned the weather. I actually, uh, you know, we lived in Vermont for one year, so uh, the snow hasn't got there yet. Okay, but uh, no, we got a little bit more time on that. <laughs> Share with our listeners a little bit. Somebody might be new to the podcast. Um, your journey, your background as an AD. Then we want to hear a little bit more about your school. And then uh, I'll let you share your tips for small school ADs. Sure. Um, so I guess my journey as an athletic director actually started when I was uh, at Springfield College earning my degree in physical education. I had a work study job and it was in contest management. And that was my first exposure to athletic administration. And uh, so my first year out of out of college, I took this job at Leland and Gray Union High School Middle School. And that was 35 years ago. And I am still at that same school. Um, so uh, over the course of those 35 years, uh, after my first year teaching, I uh, took over the role as a AD and being at a small school, uh, we do wear many hats, uh, multiple jobs. So I was a part time. It was really just a stipend position for the AD portion, but then uh, also a phys ed teacher. Um, and I did that for, oof, I think it was nine years. And then I just had too many children. I had a wonderful family, four boys. Um, and so I just got back into the AD world. Uh, I think this is going on my fourth year back into it. So like 13 years in athletic administration. Well, and, and a lot of those years you were coaching too, as a head coach, um, share with our listeners, the makeup of your school, because as we mentioned, there's a lot of different, uh, size, small schools out there. Yeah. So, uh, our small school is a, uh, six through 12 school. So we have middle and high school. And our total enrollment is about 250 kids, six through 12. So uh, in, in high school, I'm going to guess that's uh, maybe a little over 100 in the high school, four grades. Yeah, like we graduated about 30 students uh, last year. And we'll, uh, there's a couple bigger classes of like 42. Yeah. But aside from that, that's about, yeah, 120 students. Yeah, that, that's such a great size. And, and again, over my career, you know, I was at a couple of bigger schools, spent some time at the college level, but I really think my niche was in that, uh, let's say, you know, 250 to 300 or so student high school. You just, you get to know the kids, you get to know the families. Um, and again, you're there in a small town too. So you have the whole community. Okay? Absolutely. It is a gift, I think, to be in such a small community. Everybody supports each other. Everybody knows each other. Um, it, it brings people together, you know, which is a great, uh, purpose in our communities to have our athletic programs, 
uh, functioning. You know, everybody comes to watch their kids play and even uh, people who don't have kids come. So that that's a special environment to be in. Oh, no, absolutely. And if you haven't experienced it, uh, you, you, it's, it's hard to describe and you just don't know what you're missing. Yep. Well, let's go and jump right in. Um, you know, you you've been in this profession for a long time. What are some things that you have found to be really helpful in that unique role that is the small school uh, athletic director? Yeah, so being a small school, you know, halftime AD, halftime teacher, I am constantly on the move at the building. Um, I don't have any admin assistants. I don't have secretaries. I've got nothing, right? So it really is on me. So I think um, having a protocol in place when things happen and you're not in your office, you're not by your phone, you're not by your computer uh, to address the thunderstorms that just came in and games are canceled or a snowstorm, you know, which we deal with in Vermont. Um, so to have a system in place um, that they know where to find you, how to contact you and um, and a list of how you can address that uh, when you when you're not in the classroom. Now, there's a lot of different um, ways, methods, apps uh, mm -hmm. that people can use for that type of communication. Game gets canceled, game gets rescheduled, uh, and some of them are even our sponsors. But uh, what do mm -hmm. you use at Leyland and Gray? How do you get that word out when you need to make uh, that type of uh, announcement or notification? Well, we are uh, turning to a sports U this year. Uh, I learned about it, I think, at the athletic directors conference. And so uh, all of my coaches will be using sports U. And as I told them last night at our parent player coaches meeting, um, you know, don't reach out on Facebook to say, hey, has anybody heard? Because like the most accurate up to date information will be in sports U because as soon as I'll get it. I can let the coaches know and they will uh, bang the information out in the sports you app. So I'm really looking forward to everybody using that. I even told my music and theater uh, directors like, Hey, I don't see why you couldn't use this same platform. It might be called sports you, but it will serve the same purpose. Um, so we're looking forward to seeing how that works. Oh, no, sports you is a great program. Uh, you know, Jen gross, a good fr a friend of the show, if you will. Um, and you mentioned Facebook and, and other social medias. I love to see those threads. I chuckle now that I'm no longer an AD. Uh, <laughs> game has been canceled or something like that. And then the thread just grows. Well, why don't they do this? Or, you know, uh, you know, they should do something else. And it becomes this, you know, crazy, you know, internet uh, posting fest. Yeah. Uh, sports you uh, again. Here's the message. This is it. You know, end of story. <laughs> I know. It's so true. <laughs> All right. Um, the the weather challenges that every AD faces, uh, you know, obviously communicating that. Um, what's another? I, I'm mining the Tammy Clausen uh, vault here. You know, what's another best practice that you have found uh, has really helped you out as an athletic director? Yeah, I think um, acknowledging the fact that although you wear many hats, you can't always be at every every event. And so um, making sure you can train a couple of people who can help you out with contest management um, so that you can go watch your son play baseball on a day that there might be a home event. Do you know what I mean? So uh, it's taken me a while to get to that because uh, I always felt like, you know, maybe it's a little bit of a type A personality, but like if I, I'll just do it myself, you know, I'll just be there. But as I've, you know, had my family and been there for my children through their sports, I realized like, no, I, I, they will be just fine if I am not at every single event. So that's important. No, and it, it's such a, a, a vital uh, piece of management that I wish, I wish I would have learned earlier in my career when I finally, let's say, became aware because it was always there. Uh, and yeah. listeners, you've got a coach, maybe it's a veteran coach, maybe it's a young coach, maybe it's even a teacher that's a fan of your program that maybe is looking for a way to get involved. Uh, use them, utilize them, not so you can get out of work, but as Tammy mentioned, you know, so you can, you know, maybe go see your own kids uh, uh, once or twice a year. And it just, it makes your program that much better. And 
if Tammy has those individuals in her school, guess what? You've got them in your school too, uh, because you probably got a few more uh, teachers and coaches in there. So don't be afraid to reach out. Don't be afraid to add to your team. Yeah. Tammy, great stuff. Um, if one of our listeners wanted to reach out and pick your brain a little bit more, uh, find out uh, a little bit more about how you do things at Leland and Gray Union, what's the best way that they can get a hold of you? Uh, well, I'm certainly in the NIAAA database. So I think uh, my name and my email is in there, but I can give you my email right here. Uh, it is uh, T. Clausen, which is spelt just like the pickles. That's uh, C-L-A-U-S-S-E-N at WyndhamCentral.org. And Wyndham Central has a silent H in there, W-I-N-D-H-A-M. Okay. And again, uh, you're on the Leyland and Gray Union uh, High School, Middle School uh, website, too. Okay, That's right. And I'm Jamie, also uh, oh, go listed ahead. on... No, I just think uh, through the Vermont State Athletic Directors Association, there's just a lot of ways you can find us. Okay. Well, thanks again for sharing with our listeners all the best as the fall season and uh, that Vermont winter season uh, unfolds. Hopefully we're going to see you down in uh, Austin, Texas for the national conference in December. I hope so. It's great to see you. Okay. Well, for our listeners, um, we hope you've enjoyed this uh, segment of small school AD. We do this every single week and just about every day we try to share best practices Go back and listen to Tammy's uh, interview from uh, our third book. Uh, some great stuff, uh, almost as good as uh, what she shared with us today. And we hope we'll see you uh, next time on Small School AD on the Educational AD Podcast. Thanks for listening. Always a great time to uh, have with Tammy Clausen. Uh, make sure you reach out to her. Got more best practices for you. Before we leave, we uh, want to give a shout out to our sponsors just one more time. Uh, these are all companies that I use as an athletic director, sometimes on a daily basis. Um, you would be well served to check them out and see what they can do for you. Let's say thanks to Gipper. We want to thank Home Campus. I want to say thank you to Sideline Interactive Indoor Score Tables and Video Boards. I want to say thank you to Huddle, Snap mobile uh snap raise uh, hands down the best online fundraiser out there hometown ticketing the leading digital ticketing provider to schools and colleges athletic surveys by life track uh, vital signs wall of fame and the ohio university online masters uh, thanks again for listening we'll see you next time on small school ad on the educational ad podcast